The Applied Force Simulation is an innovative educational tool designed to help students understand the principles of forces in motion through an interactive and engaging context. This simulation allows students to explore the forces at work when pushing various objects, such as a refrigerator, crate, or person. By creating an applied force and observing how it makes objects move, students gain a practical understanding of Newton's laws of motion and the concept of frictionless environments. The applied force simulation is based on Newton's second law of motion, which states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force acting on it and inversely proportional to its mass. The simulation provides a visual representation of this law, allowing students to observe how changes in the applied force affect the motion of different objects. Additionally, the simulation operates in a frictionless environment, represented by a skateboard on the motion screen, to help students focus solely on the effects of the applied forces. Key components of the simulation. One, objects. The simulation includes various objects, such as a refrigerator, crate, and person. Students can select different objects to observe how the applied force affects their motion. Two, applied force. Students can create and adjust the applied force to push the objects. This force represents the external force acting on the objects, causing them to move. Three, frictionless environment. The skateboard on the motion screen indicates that the system is frictionless. This allows students to explore the effects of applied forces without the complicating factor of friction. Four, motion indicator. The simulation includes a motion indicator that visually represents the speed and direction of the object's motion. This indicator helps students understand the relationship between applied force and motion. The applied force simulation provides a hands-on approach to exploring the principles of forces and motion. By adjusting the applied force and observing the resulting motion of the objects, students can understand the following key concepts. One, effect of applied force. When an applied force is exerted on an object, it causes the object to accelerate in the direction of the force. The greater the applied force, the greater the acceleration. This demonstrates Newton's second law of motion, as the acceleration of the object is directly proportional to the net force acting on it. Two, frictionless environment. In the frictionless environment of the simulation, the objects continue to move at a constant speed once the applied force is removed. This demonstrates Newton's first law of motion, which states that an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an external force. The skateboard on the motion screen serves as a visual reminder of this frictionless condition. Three, mass and motion. Changing the mass of the objects does not affect their speed in the frictionless environment. This can be a challenging concept for students to understand, as they may expect heavier objects to move more slowly. However, in the absence of friction, the object's acceleration is solely determined by the net force acting on them, regardless of their mass. This provides an opportunity to discuss the role of mass in Newton's second law and the importance of considering all forces acting on an object. Four, reference frame. The simulation assumes that an object dropped on an already moving object is in the same reference frame, meaning they are both moving at the same speed. This concept helps students understand the relative nature of motion and the importance of reference frames in physics. The applied force simulation offers several educational benefits, and they are 1. Interactive learning. The simulation provides an interactive and engaging learn about forces and motion. Students can actively participate in the learning process by adjusting the applied force and observing the effects on the object's motion. motion. Two, visualization of abstract concepts. The concepts of forces in motion can be abstract and difficult to understand. The simulation provides a visual and tangible representation of these concepts, making them more accessible and understandable. Three, experimentation and exploration. Students can experiment with different applied forces and objects and observe the resulting changes in motion. This exploratory approach encourages critical thinking and problem-solving skills. For real-world application, the simulation provides a practical application of Newton's laws of motion, which are fundamental principles that govern the motion of objects in the real world. This helps students see the relevance of these concepts in everyday life. Five data collection and analysis. 
The simulation introduces students to the process of data collection and analysis. By observing the motion indicator and recording the changes in the object's motion, students can collect data and analyze the relationship between applied force, mass, and acceleration. In conclusion, the applied force simulation is a valuable educational tool that brings the principles of forces and motion to life through an interactive and engaging context. By allowing students to create an applied force and observe the resulting motion of various objects, the simulation provides a hands-on learning experience that enhances understanding of Newton's laws of motion. This interactive approach not only makes learning more enjoyable, but also fosters critical thinking, problem-solving skills, and a deeper appreciation for the relevance of these fundamental concepts in the real world.